For this tutorial, you want to go to Treatment Defaults, and you want to select number 13, which is Edit Workroom Details. Now, if you do not understand what workroom details are, there is a separate video describing what workroom details are. And there's also a link down below of this video on where to find that lesson. To access all the data, you want to just select 13 and a tabs form opens up and it's called suppliers. Now suppliers also is another terminology would be considered vendors. Our workroom details are stored in the same table as vendors and suppliers are but what makes this unique and shares the same database is the supplier number becomes negative one which always represents workroom details for this section that states catalog only, I'm going to do a quick review exactly what this is. There'll be a separate lesson on catalog because it is very complex. But it's good to know when you're going in here to set it up to go ahead and set them up as you're here. What we're going to do is we're going to cover this very top one here which is a WT-14. Like I said before, WT, T stands for treatments, window treatments, and the W stands for workroom details. So if I select this selector, if you notice I've already preset it up. This particular item is cut out details custom, is meant for draperies and drapery valances and rod pocket panels and rod pocket balances. On the catalog itself, the perimeters, it sets the report to only show on these four places. Now bedding and pillow shams, we're gonna we're gonna scoot on down to this W stands for workroom. SG stands for soft goods. So if I select this one because it happens to deal with bedding I'm going to select this and duvets is selected because there is a charge to install the customer's own comforter inside the duvet. And you click OK. Now it has nothing to do with pillows and pillow shams. This particular item here, there would be nothing selected underneath here because if I open this up, nothing is selected. Now I'm gonna, I am going to swing back to here because under treatment category, you have to select bedding products in order for this to be triggered. That's the trigger. So if you uncheck that, it would not show up on catalog. But like I said, I'm going to do a whole separate lesson. And to manage the list, what you can do is you could search any of these fields if you're looking for a certain one. Because currently, I've got 870 records. Now, if you notice, under the group, we have a group called Z Archive. That means it's no longer used. And this very top one happens to be Z Archived. You really set this to, it's either Z Archived or Workroom. Those are the only two that you'll ever use under this group. Because if you open up this list... There's a lot of different workroom groups. Now, if you want to understand more of these groups, this is a separate lesson, and I will also put that down so you can learn about groups. And then across the top, you have, of course, your hardware ID, and that is specifically set up within the program anytime you add a new record. So you can't change this record. You can't do anything to it. You can select it, but you couldn't do anything with it. Now, let's start up here. Like I said, you can search. So let me, you know, here's one example. Let's say bead. Now, there's a thing called bead weight, and there's different ounce weights. If you notice, it found the word bead, and all of these nine records are currently 
got bead weight in them. That's how you narrow down the selection. For the catalog number, let me show you a couple criterias that are important. If you notice, we have a WT14. There again, W stands for workroom, T stands for treatments, window treatments. Then down here, we have WSG-62. Now, W once again stands for workroom details. The S and G stands for soft goods. And the number after the letters is actually the ID number that's associated to over here because you, you do not want duplicate items in here. So there again, if you notice, this is 14 matches this. This is 15 and 15. The data keeps consistent. And then this also shows up in certain windows. Let's go take a look at that right now. See the WT specifically set up for window treatments to show up. And if I select this, if you notice the search is only including WTs because if I type in WSG, it's not going to find it. So that's where it condenses all the data and separates the data. If you select from here, you're only going to see WTs. You'll never see WSGs in this list. And it's easier to manage because you don't want to be looking through 806 items if you're looking for something. Okay, next, let's discuss how to add a new record or how to update a record. Now, there are a couple different ways I like to add new is one, I usually like to piggyback on a Z archived. So what I do first is I figure out what I'm going to see if there's anything in the system that I've maybe added because currently there's 870 records and out of those there are only 200 or so that are workroom. So if I was to search, let's say I want to add one for cut out, cut out for return rod pocket. I don't see anything in that list. Okay, so what I do is, if I didn't find anything that I needed, I'm just going to change this Z archive to workroom. And it's going to be, click on a cornice. And then I'm going to choose WT-5996. And that number, once again, is the same as this number. Then here, I'm just going to call this testing for lesson. And then it's not going to be in the catalog, so I'm going to delete that content. There's nothing on hand. In the unit of measures, I'm going to leave it as each. Now, once again, you can choose from the list here. Certain ones are actually have programming. Some do not have programming. Then you can add your price. Workroom detail will never have three foot and under. And I'll set the quantity as one. And I'm going to do the date, due date as today. And I don't want this to show up on the workroom ticket. And I want to hide this from catalog. And once again, you always want to check job summary report. Now that's one way you can add one. The next one is you can come down to here. And then it says create new blank record. Now be careful. You don't want to click on this one. Because this record, one of one pertaining to the company precision workroom details only because we have drilled down to specifically that supplier. So I'm going to click new record. You come up here and you type workroom. And this time let's do a, let's add a bedding item. So we're going to click on bedding products, which 
is the same as soft goods. This time I'm gonna define it as a pillow. And this is gonna show up as a pillow. And this item for grins is just gonna be on cushions box and pillows boxed because they share the same character. Now the catalog number would be WSG-7355. Description, this was a pillow. We're on a call testing. It won't be in catalog. Now if you wanted it in catalog, testing for catalog. And this one is gonna be each. And I'm gonna set my price at $30. The quantity is one, I'm gonna set the date. I'm gonna set the date today. I do want to have that show up on the workroom details work ticket. And I do want it in catalog. And there you go. And that's how you add a new record. I'm gonna to go to the very first record. Now we have 871 records. And I'm gonna search for that new record. There you go, you just found it. Now you've got notes over here. And if you notice, if I come down here, you can't quite see it all. If I click here, and it brings up a zoom window, and you can edit more if you'd like. And then you hit save, then you hit zoom again, and there's the X's. And let's get rid of that, or hit save, and there we go. Now to clear the search, you click clear. Okay, let me show you how you delete a record. It's pretty straightforward. Over on the left is, is um, a place to select the record. It turns black with a little arrow that points to the right. Let's delete this record right here, this 3619. It's been archived. So I'm going to hit the delete key. Then you're going to get a message box that says, are you sure you want to delete this record? And you click yes, and it's gone. Now let's, for grins, let's take this other one here, which is uh, 3634. I'm going to select delete. What it is, it's a validated check. You cannot delete this record because it's been assigned to several quote numbers, and it gives you a list of them. So if you wanted to delete this item for whatever reasons it is, you would have to go to each one of these quotes and remove it. Then you could return back to here and delete it. Another workaround would be to take this record and you Z-archive it and close the record. And now that's been archived. It would never show up in your list. However, I need to change this back to workroom because that is a true identity because it's hand stitch hems, which as you can tell over here, it was updated on 2019. So that's how you delete a record. Now this little thing is a nice little feature and there'll be a separate lesson on that. Is this is to open up price update utility. And I'll give you a, a real simple crash course. Because if I click here, this is, let's say we want to increase our prices or decrease our prices. What we can do is we could select all of them. Or you can go by each of this. But there'll be a separate lesson on this. And then you can go in here. You can basically select them all. And we're going to add, uh, we're going to add, make everything $20. And everything here becomes adding $20. And then you can click update prices and it updates every all those 197 records automatically. But we don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit close. Now lift system info has to do with catalog and how it's displayed. So to update that information, you would open up here. You, this is where you set up perimeters whether it's cordless or continuous, basically show up right here. So to close this tab out, what you do is right click and hit close. So this is how you edit and update workroom details. And then you can also point documents to here. For example, I've got a pointer here going to workroom details 
let's review that. Let's, let's, let's take a look here. So that's how that works. So you can actually tag different references. And all this is, is pointing a link to this file. Close that out. You do that. If I wanted to make this inactive, I could check this, but I do not want to inactive this because it's definitely needed. So to close this field, you would right click and click close. And that is it for edit workroom details.